Hey guys, Brett Williams here from LifeWithOptions.net and on today's video I'm going to talk about why this is the first coffee that I've drunk in the last four months. So before I get into that coffee sitting there, the smells and the aromas just absolutely just mmm. So nice just smelling and sitting on the uh, on the stove just before making it. Whew. Love it. Before I get into that coffee because I'm looking forward to it, I thought it would be very valuable as to explain why I stopped drinking coffee and what the implications have been for myself and the awarenesses and everything else that have opened up on the other side of it. So, first and foremost, it was the man Preston Smiles. I got involved with his men's program called Man Cave. It was a four month program and part of it was to give up something that had the control over you. For me, coffee has something that it had the power over me. I'd be drinking three, four cups of coffee a day to be honest I didn't really even need the third and the fourth coffee I was only drinking it to escape the reality so for me you know I'm not a smoker and I guess smokers probably experience this similar thing like you have this habit which is your escape it is your me time it is your chance to just connect with what's going on for you and it's like all time stands still now if you're not a coffee drinker and you are probably thinking what the heck are you talking about just go with me on this because this is what my experience was with coffee it was my thing just to sit there and just to enjoy now sure you can go and substitute it for something else, but it's not the same. Why? Because you have an emotional attachment to the flavors, to the aroma, to the smell, the taste, to everything that goes on. It becomes part of the experience because it's something that you've anchored into yourself. Be it maybe somewhere down the track, I decided to have a coffee when I was having a bit of a low moment and I found that the coffee being caffeine, obviously picking you up and creating a better mood and happiness. You know, that's probably where I associated with coffee being the escape from reality and being the connection with myself. So I've thought about for myself many a times about giving up coffee. I really have and it was always I'm gonna do it tomorrow You know, what? I'll just I'll, I'll do it next Monday. That'll be the easiest but The thing was is I never really did maybe once or twice I would go without maybe having that third or fourth coffee for the day But I was still having at least a coffee to get going because in my perception I needed coffee to be able to get going in the morning now I know a lot of people can relate to that one when it came to being involved with man cave being held accountable to 30 other guys in the cave making sure that we all work through our own things that we've got going on it was the right time and place to be giving up coffee now sure some of the other resistance that you have is the fact that you know you're gonna have a headache for a number of weeks and yes I had a chronic headache for a couple of weeks as I stopped drinking coffee and started to drink more water and teas and everything like that and yes I substituted it for teas but a peppermint tea is not gonna have the same impact as a coffee is going to and to be honest I'm not really too sure moving forward if I'm going to be drinking coffee as a regular thing but the only way to experience that now is to actually have a coffee. Now, the reason why I say I don't know if I'm going to have it, I also stopped drinking a number of years ago and these days I will very rarely have a drink or two because I don't enjoy the, the feeling that goes on for myself internally when I have an alcoholic beverage. Maybe I might have a glass of wine or something like that at dinner or something, but it's different. And I have a feeling that coffee is going to be the same because when you give up something like alcohol or coffee, your body gets to become purified. It gets to clean out all of the toxins. So when you have that first sip of coffee or when you have that first sip of alcohol you will feel it moving through your body and then you get to choose is this a feeling that I enjoy or isn't it that's the whole reason why I've given up coffee and to be honest as said I don't know if this is going to be my last coffee I have a feeling that it's going to be a few and far between thing moving forward but mentally I'm still wanting a coffee I want a coffee every single day there's no two ways about it that desire is still there but what I have a feeling is is that I'm not going to enjoy the idea of having a coffee having that peak and then having that crash to only want to have another coffee again because one of the things that I have thoroughly enjoyed with not drinking coffee for the last four months is the fact that my energy levels have been consistent okay sure I might not be having some of those high times like I do with coffee or you know your Red Bulls or whatever your caffeine drinks but the thing is, is my energy level has been consistent now the other benefit for that as well and if you're somebody who drinks a lot of coffee and also find yourself swinging into different mood swings and stuff like that I noticed that my downward spirals really started to level 
people out when I stop drinking coffee. Because obviously when you have that peak from the actual caffeine, what goes up must come down. So you're gonna have a bit of a crash from that. And if you're like myself, who does have a tendency to go very dark and deep internally very quickly at times, I found that not having the coffee to be a benefit to myself in that regard. So anyway, no further to do. Let's get into this coffee. All right. Part of me feels guilty. Meanwhile, do you like this cup? Whilst it does have B on it, it's not actually my cup, it's my dad's. <laughs> At school in, I'll show, I'm showing my age here, in year three, back in 1993, I think that's what it says on the bottom of it, yep, 93. It was for Father's Day, so I made this for, for dad, but he wasn't using it, and when I moved out of home, I thought, well, it's my cup now. Cheers. Mm, we shall see. I can already feel, I can feel that coffee, even at that little mouthful, I can feel it starting to uh, just wake up the senses a little bit. I think I'm gonna have to finish this video once this coffee is actually kicked in. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this coffee. I'll come back to you later, soon while, uh, yeah, when this coffee's kicked in. Mm. So anyway, I'm sitting here in the kitchen with my housemate and uh, yeah, this coffee is def definitely, definitely kicking in. Oop, wrong way. <laughs> I'm gonna annoy the shit out of him. <laughs> ah. Alrighty, so. I can already feel that coffee kicking in. And with all of this energy, I just think I need to go hit the gym. So, I'm gonna go and do that. If you got any value out of this video, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs>